Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another special game. This one was played in late 1883 between Johannes Zuckertort playing as white and Joseph Blackpoon playing as black. These two are chess legends and these games is one of Zuckertort's best games ever. So a game you should not miss. And without further ado, we will go straight into it. So white opened the game with c4 and after e6 we are in Agincourt defense of the English opening. The main idea for black in this position is to push d5 and counter the white center. White continues with e3, we have knight to f6 for black, knight to f3 for white and b6. After this move the game transpired into queen's Indian defense. Black's main idea is to fianchetto this bishop on b7. White continues with bishop e2, we have bishop to b7 and we have castle for white. Black now doesn't wait and he strikes immediately in the center undermining white's position with d5. White for now refuses this trade and he plays d4. After this move black continues his development with bishop d6. After that white continues with knight to c3 and now black decided to castle. Game continued with b3 for Zuckertort, he wants to fianchetto his bishop here and then have this beautiful diagonal aimed towards the black king. Knight b to d7 is played for black and after bishop d2 we have first small inaccuracy of the game and that is queen to e7. Black Blackburn decided to connect these two rooks but this is actually a mistake and recommended move was a6 to stop this knight from jumping on the b5 uh, square but after queen e7 this allows knight to b5 and right now this bishop is under attack if you retreat this bishop somewhere then this pawn will fall and that is the reason black decided to play knight to e4 taking nice central square here we have knight picking up on d6 c takes on d6 and knight to d2 is played for white so white now has a bishop spare and now he wants to undermine this strong knight black plays a really nice move knight d to f6 still he wants to control of this nice e4 square and right now white decided to play f3 pushing away this knight we have knight picking up on d2 queen takes on d2 and we have d takes on c4 here played for black game continued with bishop picking up on c4 for zuckertort and right now black decided to play d5 pushing away this bishop this bishop is forced to retreat on d3 this is the best square aiming at this black king and after this move we have rook f to c8 played for black which is actually not the best idea after bishop to d3 the best move for black was to actually play a5 and then offer this trade for example if white plays rook a to c1 then bishop a6 would be a really amazing move for black because he will he would trade this weak bishop for this really strong bishop that aims towards the black king but this didn't this wasn't played of course and we have rook f to c8 for black rook a to e1 right now and white is completely ready to start pushing his pawns and start the attack we have rook to c7 black's main idea is to double up his rooks and now we have e4 attacking in the center black for now refuses to take this and he plays rook a to c8 doubling up his rooks and right now zuckertort starts the advancement of his pawns firstly he plays e5 attacking this knight this knight is retreating to e8 and right now we have f4 on the board a beautiful move again the idea is basically now this rook will be able to come on e3 and then on h3 which will create a threat here on the h7 square we have g6 on the board right now to cut away this long diagonal which looks really scary here for black but white continues with rook to e3 and right now we have f5 played on the board but Zuckertort finds this move obviously this is the best here he takes on f6 with Anpasan. he wants to advance his pawns and right now we have another mistake of the position in the game knight takes on f6 was played actually recommended move was queen picking up on f6 because right now simply this queen will be removed from this possible pin of this rook but right now after knight takes on f6 we are already in the critical part of the position if you wish you can pause the video and let me know uh, which is the next key move for white here that white of course found uh, try to find it yourself and let me know your answer in the comments and while you are there you might hit the subscribe button because as you all know i want to make this channel a primary source of my income i want to become a full-time youtuber and you commenting and sharing helps with the algorithm thank you so much in advance guys so the winning move here or the move that actually keeps the advantage is f5 here so congratulations if you found it f5 because right now you cannot pick up with this pawn 
you can pick up with this pawn but this would open your g file and this bishop would be able to infiltrate here so for now black black was thinking and he decided to play knight to e4 to try and cut away this bishop's diagonal we have bishop picking up on e4 d picks up on e4 and we have f takes on g6 Zuckertor continues crushing in the black's king position rook to c2 was played attacking this queen right now but for now white doesn't care about that he plays g takes on h7 with a check and right now in the game king h8 was played now as you see obviously that black here has this option here picking up with his queen but this is actually losing because right now firstly rook to g3 and basically you are forced to give up your queen but this will only delay your demise so far after this move if you go on h8 then firstly white continues with d5 and this beautiful discovered check uh, from this bishop and right now if you want to cover it with e5 then of course bishop picks up on e5 check and after queen g7 queen h6 is check you cannot pick up obviously your queen is pinned and after king g8 queen picks up on g7 is a beautiful checkmate so after g takes on h7 king h8 was a must although the position is really difficult uh, white continues the same with d5 again discovered check right now black decided to block this check and now another incredible move here by white if you wish of course you can pause the video and try to find the amazing sacrifice here and uh, Zuckertor finds this beautiful sacrifice that is queen to b4 offering this uh, queen for free so black is not obligated of course to take it but black can do that of course in the game this wasn't played and rook a to c5 was played with the idea to block this threat of course we will now show you what will happen if queen takes on b4 was played then white continues with bishop picking up on e5 with a check and right now after king takes on h7 white would continue with rook h3 check and of course if king goes on g8 then rook h8 is immediate checkmate after rook to h3 if you decide to go with your king on g6 then rook f6 is what follows check king goes on g7 after that white continues with rook to g3 check king h7 rook f7 check king to h6 bishop f4 check and after king h5 beautiful ladder mate with rook to h7 a uh, truly amazing of course i wanted to show you something else after rook to f6 yes a uh, white king can go on g5 but this doesn't change anything rook to g3 check again king to h5 rook f5 check king to h6 bishop f4 check king to h7 and again ladder mate beautifully with rook to h5 so after queen to b4 rook a to c5 was played of course now again Zuckertor continues with beautiful sacrifice rook f8 check in the game uh, king picks up on h7 was played uh, after rook f8 of course you can pick up with your queen but after that white continues with bishop picking up on e5 check and right now if your king goes takes this pawn on h7 then white would continue with queen picking up on e4 check then after king goes on h6 rook h3 check king g5 rook g3 check king h5 queen g6 check king h4 and right now white has a few checkmates to give but i selected rook h3 because it looks so cool rook h3 is the checkmate of course after bishop picking up on h5 uh, on e5 check pardon me uh black could play queen to g7 but again bishop takes on g7 king takes on g7 uh queen d4 check a king picks up on h7 and again queen picks up on e4 check king h6 king is too exposed he doesn't have enough defenders queen a6 check king h7 rook h3 check king g7 rook g3 check king goes on h7 and queen h3 is another beautiful ladder mate so after rook f8 king picks up on h7 was played which delays a game a little bit queen picks up on e4 with a check right now and again checkmate is inevitable king goes on g7 we have bishop picking up on e5 check king picks this rook on f8 we have bishop g7 check king goes on g8 after bishop g7 check yes you can pick up with your queen but you will get checkmated immediately so after bishop g7 king goes on g8 and after that queen picking up on e7 this is where joseph blackburn decided to resign because there is no way of saving this game checkmate is inevitable you can give a few checks here and there but this square is covered which is most important thing the king can easily walk away from your checks and from there he will just continue until the end checkmating your very weak and exposed king and this is how this legendary game ended and this is all i have prepared for you today guys 
if you enjoyed this game please make sure to leave a comment like and share this video with other people who enjoy chess as you all know this helps with the youtube algorithm it helps me achieve my goal of becoming a full-time youtuber youtube will recommend my videos more if you comment if you engage and if you like my videos guys uh, thank you so much i really appreciate it feel free to comment about this game if i miss something in the analysis did you did you enjoy this game and everything else you might need on everything else that is on your mind feel free to comment as well i always enjoy reading your comments and uh uh, feel free to uh, suggest one of your games maybe if you have some of your legendary games or if you have some games of your favorite players please let me know in the comments i would gladly check them out thank you so much for watching one more time guys and we'll see each other in the next video i wish you a pleasant day bye bye